ladies and welcome to this now I'm absolutely ecstatic Fleetwood Town have today appointed their manager now Joey Barton got potted on the 4th of January and he was unbeaten in four games however Andy Pilly let go after two and a half years into his three-year contract and today we finally replace him. Now, since Joey left the football club, we've not won a game yet. We're winless in 2021. We lost yesterday to Oxford United. We drew to Northampton. We drew to Wigan. Losing to Portsmouth. Lost to MK Dons. Lost to Hull after being 2-0 up and losing 3-2 with 12 minutes to go. But today we have appointed Simon Grayson. Now... I am not happy at all. I think this is the wrong appointment. I hope I'm incorrect with this. I think he plays dinosaur football. I think it's, you know, route one. Try and get, you know, try and get in over the top. And he did that with Blackpool last time out. He got very lucky with Blackpool earlier on in his career. And got promoted. Maybe he did well. He got teams out of League One. You know, early on in his career, but early on in his second black pulling career, he got lucky, is what I am meaning. So Oxford, you know, at home they won 2-1, they got battered. A lot of the games that they played, they got battered in, but they won. And that is a good mentality to have, but the luck did run out. And I'm sure Lee Charles and James Shute will tell you the same as well. And they'll say how it was dinosaur football and they just couldn't look at Larry in the end. A load of Blackpool fans all over Twitter. I'll put a few screenshots on now. Um, laughing at the appointment. It is a six-month contract, so it's literally keep us up, and then you might get rewarded with a job. He's a 51-year-old manager. He's managed Preston. He had an over 40% win record there. But since there, the, the Sunderland job, I think, ruined him. He got sacked within the October, I believe, after a 3-3 draw with Bolton Wanderers. He only got a couple of wins there. In all competitions, he, you know, Bradford City, awful again. Blackpool, again, awful. And he was helping David Dunn out at Barrow with his tactics and things to do. And that didn't go particularly well. I just feel it is a, a rushed appointment. I really do. I just think we've done it too because we're in trouble. And maybe that we have to act now. For six months, is it bad? It's going to be dinosaur football and it's going to be route one. I'm honestly going to say this now. I think I'd rather have Stephen Presley back. I really would. I'm not happy with the appointment at all. I just don't see the logic in it. But for six months, if he keeps us up, he would, he would have done an okay job. We've got 21 games to go. We need, I think, 22 points to be sure. We've only collected nine out of the last 12 uh, available games. So... We do need something to act. He's an experienced manager, but he can't bring a load of players in. The deadline is literally tomorrow, so he can't bring any players in. He's got to work with, you know, the players that he's got, the staff that he's got. And it's just a little bit of a of a, a reality check for where we are, really, because I would never have got rid of Joey knowing we're going to get Simon Grace, and I'll be honest with you. I just feel at this moment in time, it's not the great football. Dinosaur football, you know, the tactics that he did. I think that towards the end of his Blackpool in career, the second time, he was losing a lot of games. You know, Oxford, Lincoln away, Aquinton at home. So, and Critchley's turned that round at Blackpool. But it, it's Sunderland, he was dreadful. And, you know, part of the reason they got relegated that season, they also had Bradford City, which a very low win percentage. He wasn't there long. I just feel early on in his career might have worked. He's got this record getting teams out of League One. When was the last team got out of League One? Was it Preston? You know, it was like, it's not long ago at all. And, it's sorry, it's a long time ago. That's what I mean. It's not, you know, not long ago since he's had a good job, you know. Because every job he's had, He's not done a good job. He's had good job at Blackpool. And he got backed at Blackpool. This is the point. It's not like he didn't get backed and he had to work with the facilities Matt Phillips did. Or the previous manager in Gary Bowyer had to work with. Bradford, tough challenge there to be fair. But again, didn't do a good job. Sunderland, awful. 
Six month contract, we've got a deal with Larry Ball. And we've got to stay up. It's as simple as that. I really hope I eat my words. And if if we do well, I will eat my words and I'll, I'll regret this video. But at this moment in time, I don't think it's the greatest of appointment. I'm not the happiest with it. I think it's a little bit of a rush decision to get him in. It is experience and he is second choice because Anthony Barry rejected us. So it's happened ever so quickly and it just feels a little bit of a disappointment. It really does. And we've got to, we've got to, we've got to win games. We've got to win Saturday against Bristol Rovers just to lift us back up that table and hopefully Grayson can do that for us. But, you know, he's, he's on the foul coast tour, you could say. He's, um, you know, Blackpool and Preston. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe. We're on the road to 6,000 subscribers. I will see you later.